For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Can anyone in this room tell me how many plots there have been in the United States since 9-11? Are you counting the ones that were uh, initiated by the FBI or not counting them? What do you mean initiated by the FBI? Well, the FBI will often sting people by saying, hey, you know, you, go bomb something, and the person tries to go bomb something, and the FBI catches them. Actually, the FBI gives them every out, every opportunity to exfiltrate themselves in every operation. All right, so that's me sparring with a pro-Fed pundit and former Bush official in Manchester. But the truth is I'm a little less hostile toward this guy's position than I'm letting on in the video. A lot of liberty folk criticize the FBI. A lot of people who aren't liberty folk criticize the FBI for instigating many of the terror plots that they subsequently break up. In fact, I guess almost all such terror plots in the United States fall under that category. What usually happens is the Fibbies will find someone who they think fits the pro-terror profile then they'll try and goad them into a fake terrorist attack and arrest them for the attempted face fake terrorist attack. The other dark side to this approach is that they are indicators that in some cases they're almost forcing people into the attacks, the fake attacks, by leaving them no way out. And then of course there's the concern that should be applied to every government program essentially. It costs tax dollars. But whenever we criticize a federal a federal action, we should try to maintain the icy logic, which uh, should separate us from them. We shouldn't throw the bad elements. Well, we, we shouldn't throw the good elements of their ideas out with the bad. Broken clock, twice a day, right. If we were to subtract all the aggressive elements, all the abuses all the inhuman incompetence from these FBI bait programs. Maybe I should say, if we were to subtract 90% of all of the above, if we were to subtract all of that from their program, would it still be a thing to loathe? Well, actually, I guess it would, because there would still be a little bit of tax money going to it. There would still be a few lives unnecessarily ruined. Maybe I'm phrasing the question wrong. Let's try and look at it from a point of empathy. Imagine yourself in charge. Uh, let's say you're the president of a completely non-aggressive country, if there can be such a thing. More believably, let's just imagine you live in a, a relatively free country. You own a large amount of property there over which you have complete control under the law. Thousands of people inhabit the land that you bought and you're in complete control. The only limits on your power are the borders of your ownership and the borders, the borders of your land ownership and the fact that people can leave, people can rebel. Uh, this, rather than external law, is what keeps you from becoming abusive of your power. There's plenty of competition. People can always go live somewhere else a few miles away. And there are a thousand ways to rebel. But 200 miles away, there's a typical state uh, government, uh, and it sends terrorists into your property. It doesn't like the fact that you allow cocaine and that you're on a gold standard in your micro state. Every three months or so, there's a bombing or a shooting. The body count is up to 10 a year. Now you've got proof that half of these killings are state-sponsored by this cruel state 200 miles away. Would it, under those circumstances, be appropriate for you to, as Sun Tzu says, lay out baits for the enemy? Would it be appropriate for you, with your own money, to hire security people who go out and trick the terrorists? They find people who seem to have a motive to hurt your micro-state, or rather the innocent people who live in it. They find people who have a history of violence and they give them the option of joining 
the resistance against this landlord, aka you. And when some of the bad guys fall for it, they eventually wind up punished in some way, some appropriate proportional way. What I'm describing there is not exactly what the feds do, but it has, it contains some elements of what the feds do. And can you assure me that it would be wrong under those circumstances? This is the kind of question we should be asking ourselves about every statist program that we condemn. Do we condemn every single element of it? If not, which elements are not a problem? That is all. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat. Dot lrn dot fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn dot fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.